How are we doing guys? Awesome episode this week. I'm doing something I haven't done for 11 years and that is go up to Lake Gogibic in the UP of Michigan and we're gonna look for big jumbo teeter pigs up here, big jumbo perch. Famous lake in the area for having huge perch. The thing about Gogibic though is it's 14 miles long, over 13,000 acres and it's a kind of a huge mud flat. So we're gonna probably throw a little bit of a dart at a dartboard figure out some, where some perch are, but I'm gonna set up in a spot where I fished before 11 years ago, mind you, and caught a couple big ones. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a great episode. We're gonna hopefully get on some huge, fat jumbo perch up here in Lake Ogibbic. So stay tuned, we'll be right back after word from our sponsors. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Baitmate Fish Attractant. So, got the hub set up. I'm on top of a little bit of a lobe here. I got my Navionics on my phone. And one of the deepest spots in the lake is between me and the shoreline here. It's about 40 foot, and that's, that's about the max depth on Gogibic. It's right around 40 foot. So that big basin is sitting right to my, be my east. And I'm kind of up on top of a big flat 29 foot. And what I'm gonna do, like I said at the intro, basically you're almost throwing darts trying to find these fish. What they're doing is the big, the big perch are kind of lone wolves. They're just kind of roaming around. So we're gonna set up some coolers, which are gonna be huge for us today, I think, with the dead stick. So we're gonna put some coolers up. But what I wanna do is I'm looking at my Navionics and I'm kind of finding little lobes, little points in the contours, anywhere between 25 and 30 feet. And I got the hub set up right on a little point of a lobe, about 29, and around me is about 27. So I'm gonna set up two coolers. We're going to see if we can get some of these perch going. Got my first hole drilled for the fooler. Let me get it rigged up. I want to show you guys how to set these up. But what I'm using, pretty much what works on Gogibic, are wigglers. And they're mayfly larvae, that's all they are. But they're kind of creepy looking little dudes but there's a lot of actual wiggler beds on Gogibic where these things naturally spawn. So it's a real, it's a good natural forage on Gogibic for the big perch. Got a cooler set up here. Got your flag, rod holder, and your tension arm. These are really simple. It takes literally two minutes to set these up. I got the hummingbird in there to pick up my presentation on the way down so I know what depth I'm at, but relative out here, most of the perch are caught pretty close to the bottom. So we're gonna have it within one or two foot. So I just wanna make sure I can see where I'm at. Drop her down. I'm about two feet from the bottom. So it's right where I wanna be with my bail shut. First, I like to put my line underneath the trigger release. That little black rubber bumper there, that's my tension setter right there. So if I want, if I'm going really light stuff, I wanna to come towards me, towards the reel. If I need a little heavier stuff, the further away you pull this little black stopper, the more tension you give it. So I'm gonna bring it back, just pull, pull it towards the hole just a little bit and see what that does. Oh yeah, so she's ready to go. When a fish hits that, it'll be good. Last thing you gotta remember is open your bail up because they're free spool. So when a fish hits that, he pulls line, doesn't know he's on there, flag goes up, you run over, set the hook, you fight the fish on a rod and reel. They're a pretty sweet deal, it's a lot of fun. All right, getting all rigged up here out of the wind. It was cold this morning, eight degrees, but it's supposed to be, the weatherman says today, it's supposed to be 38 for a high, so we'll see, but it's really sunny out. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Hopefully the wind dies down, which is supposed to this afternoon. But I'm setting up with macho minnow inside, my go-to, a lot of confidence in that bait. Tipped with a wiggler. I'm in 28 foot. I got my fooler set up to my left and to my right, plus my jigging stick. And what I'm doing here is I got two different presentations. On my finicky foolers, I have a horizontal presentation and I like the horizontal presentation because on a dead stick, when the fish suck it in and I'm not there right away to set the hook, 
they don't feel the weight as a vertical presentation because that lure has to kind of go at an angle like a J into its mouth. If it's a horizontal presentation, they can suck it all in one foul swoop. They don't feel anything. And then the free spool on the finicky really helps the fish not detect any weight or any discrepancies from us when they hit it. So I like that horizontal presentation on the finicky fool or dead stick. And if I'm jigging, obviously I got a macho minnow, so that's a vertical presentation here. So I'm doing a little bit of both, see which one produces the most today. But I'm excited, this is gonna be real fun. There's some huge perch in go gibbick and I'm hopefully gonna get a couple topside here real quick. Oh my God, this guy's coming hard. There, that's a better fish right here. I think it's a better fish. Feels like a better fish. What do we got? Oh gosh, there we go. That is what we're after. Look at that. Big, get a lip in him here. Big old jumbo. Huh? That's what we came to go give it for. Now that's not a huge one, but that's a very nice start. Good starter fish. That's gonna be what, 12 inch jumbo right there? Look at the thickness on him. Beautiful fish. Is a good perch, no matter where you're at, but Gogibic is known for huge ones. He's not gonna let me put my finger back in his mouth very easily. And that's a good one, but they come a lot bigger than that. Hopefully we're gonna get on them. That guy back in there. Boy, they're pretty. See you later, pal. Awesome. There's one coming, there's one coming. They just like all of a sudden show up on there. There he is. Came up and whapped it. This one feels heavy, feels good. Oh, I see him at the hole already. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yes. Getting a little bit bigger. That is a big old perch right there. That's on the macho minnow and mayfly larva, also known as up in these parts, northern Wisconsin, Michigan, as the wiggler. And I'll show you those in a little bit, but that is a really, really, really dandy yellow perch. Wow. Big old dorsal fin sticking up. Awesome fish. Boy, they are pretty. And when those big ones come in, they hit it, they mean business. Let's get them back in there. Real nice fish. See you later, bud. Oh, flag. Yep. got here. It's a little breezy out here right now. Pop that off. Put my knee on the old fish. A little bit of a pull here. Come on, big perch. It's a little bit of bite here. fry by Northland. Nice little horizontal presentation. Tipped with the wiggler. But look at that fish, man. They are just pretty. Look at the size of that perch, guys. That's a nice Gogibic jumbo right there. What a dandy. Let's put her back. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Badger Sportsman Magazine, number one in the Midwest since 1943. Got 
I put a new wiggler on. But Gogibic is known for just being a huge kind of a wasteland of a mucky bottom. And there's actually locations on here that they call wiggler beds, where the wiggles will go and spawn and the larva will be there. And basically all wiggler is, is a mayfly larva. And that's what a lot of the jumbo perch on Gogibic feed on. And also a lot of bloodworms as well. So it's kind of, you gotta find a big flat in this particular spot on Gogibic, there's a big deep hole right behind our shanty there, right behind the hub. And it, that's about 35 foot and it comes up onto a big mud flat and we're sitting about 25, 26, but it's a big lobe, big, huge flat. And those perch are just roaming. And you're not marking tons of fish. You're not seeing big schools or 10 or 15. It's not like a Christmas tree. It's like two or three, three or four. But every single one that comes through is big. So I'm gonna get this tooler set up again, drop her down, see if we can get another one. That forage, fry that we're using from Northland is perfect for this because it's horizontal and that seems to be the ticket with that wiggler is a horizontal presentation so these things are made for putting a wiggler on there so let's get back down here we're gonna see if we can get in their jumbo oh here they come two of them two of them coming up high yes he came up and slammed it. You can, I mean, when, when it's perched, he doesn't feel huge, but there's weight there. You could tell their perch when they come up and they, there's, they're not messing around basically is what the perch are doing. They're coming up and hitting that thing right away. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yes, oh, 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 I just dropped my rod. How you doing, bud? It's weird. <laughs> it's weird that I just caught that 14 inch huge huge go give it perch and i think that well, i don't know he's what 11 and i think that 11 incher is not that big he's still pretty nice though isn't he wow that's again that's macho minnow a little more action it, i'm getting the little ones jigging i shouldn't say little but i'm getting the smaller ones jigging and i'm getting the big ones on the fooler so that's every every time you go out you learn something new and i'm learning that the the big females that are full spawn that will spawn here in the next couple of months they do not want to chase anything they want it just dead sticking right there and that's when the fooler shine but these and that might be female too she's pretty fast she's just not as long they're a little more aggressive nice fish let's get her back in there all right see you later baby that was a little bit better perch right there that's kind of what we're looking for probably 12 12 and a half incher but I use a macho minnow a lot. I just have a lot of confidence in it. Same as open water fishing, ice fishing is. You use what you have a lot of confidence in. I'm using a 1 12th, so it's heavy enough to get down there. And what we're tipping these with are wigglers. All they are are mayfly larvae. And what I'm doing is that you tip them through the tail and one of the trebles there on the macho, and just poke it through there. And those things squirm, they wiggle. That's why they call them wigglers. They squirm all over the place. And that it's it's nice because they do a lot of movement down there a little more in a waxworm or a minnow head so you can use a dead stick if they're really lethargic or you know you got the the macho minnow so you got a lot of action down there with the spoon but that right there is the combo here he comes here he comes whoa he's on it hot there he is fish Ooh, this is good this is good oh wow i don't know what i got here this is a big fish stay on baby come on I had a second one follow it. I'm hoping this is, a, if this is a big perch. This is nice. This is a dandy perch if this is a perch. I'm excited to see. Oh, come on, baby. Easy does it. A little bit more. Oh, come on. I just saw a glimpse of it and I'm not quite sure what it is. He is right at that hole. It's a really nice walleye. I can see him. It's a nice walleye. Cool. Come here, buddy, a really nice walleye. Look at this. Oh, wow. Come here, pal. Oh, no. Yes. How about that for a bonus, folks? Wow. Gogibic has <laughs> walleyes, a lot of them. And look at that. What a fish. That's a 23, 24 incher. I'm happy with that. Came up and pounded that macho minnow with a wiggler on it. How sweet is that? Wow. You know what I'm using? Kramer Custom Rods, wall banger series of rods for, for these perch, because that's a perfect rod for about 1 16th ounce spoon. And the wall banger produced the walleye, I love it. How awesome is that? Big perch, quality walleyes. 
Go give us a special treat. Tell you what, you guys got to get up here and fish this place. This is awesome. Dang, eat that. He's still chasing. He still chased me. Oh my goodness, here he comes. What do I got here? What do I have? It's not a... Oh, there he is, 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 yes! That's a good one! I mean, I mean, that's a good perch wherever you're at, but we're looking for the giant, but this is a nice one. It's a real good one. I got him hooked like a million bucks, too. Annihilated that macho minnow. There. I mean, that goes, what, 10, 11 incher? I mean, if you're gonna eat a fish right there, that's a perfect eater. He's been through some battles. That is a nice perch. They're pretty too, aren't they? Wow. All right, let's put him back in here. Get back down there, see if I can get that other one to go. <clears throat> one thing you want to remember about Go Gibbick is it's not a real action-oriented type lake. I mean, you can be. Like any lake, you can have awesome days. But when you're ice fishing up here, you got to either be running and gunning, or you got to have patience and stick it out and wait for those big, pit, big perch to roam through. The big reason why it's kind of a difficult lake to fish for numbers is because it's vast, vast bottom is almost exactly the same. So you have a lot of 18 to 25, 26 foot that's just muck straight, and no bottom content that differs at all. It's just a big, huge flat. And those perch, especially the big, the big perch, they're kind of lone wolves, I guess. They're by themselves, single fish. So when they come in, you have to be ready and you can't really mess up your opportunity because you don't know when the next bunch are coming through. But there was two on the screen there and it wasn't a huge one, but it was definitely a nice perch. So on Gogibic, you gotta be, you gotta have patience or you gotta be willing to whole hop, be, able, be mobile. That's important to put a lot of perch on top of the ice. This is a perch, he is on it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what do I got here? Holy cow. Wow. There's another fish down the screen. That fish bulldog. What do I got going here? This could be a huge perch, everybody. Oh my gosh. Come here, pal. Yes, that's a dandy right there. Another beauty. Yes. They just charged. There's another one down there right now. Isn't that nice? Wow, I love it. When the perch come in, man, they just, they're not fooling around. They're not messing around. They come in and they pound that macho minnow. That is a dandy. And I got another one down here. Almost got to get this guy off as fast. And when they, eat, they hit it, they just take her down. That is so fun. I mean, that is a fat 12 inch perch right there, but that is a dandy. Pop that guy out of there, all right. Another dandy. The jumbo, aren't they pretty? Wow, oh, I'm gonna lose them. Oh, 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 I'll put you back, buddy. There you go. All right. Yes. This is better. This is better right here. This is on the forage fry. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. Be another big perch. Come on, baby. Be another giant. Oh my goodness, everybody, get ready for this. Ho, 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 Are you kidding me? Look at that. What a beast. A gogibic giant and he swallowed that up. I gotta get him away from the hole in case he slips out of my fingers. He just tore that forage fry up. I'm telling you, those horizontal presentations, I'm struggling there a little bit, but let's take a look at him. Look at that thing. Look at that beast. Is that not a thing of beauty? Wow, I love it. Look at him. He's pretty too. Big bars full of eggs. Yes. Let's take a look here. See if I can get that out. That is a nice perch. He does not want to open his mouth for me. There we go. Oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Giant. 
perch from Gogebic. I love it. On the Fooler, man, I'm telling you what, guys, if you don't have any of these, you need to get them. If you like the whole hop or if you just like to stay in your shanty, they're the best for everything. You can spread out. They, it can be a great fish locator for you. Set them up. You know what? You're banging a couple fish over here on the Fooler. Move the shanty over. Or if you want to stay in the hub like I'm doing, fishing by yourself, put two more lines up. And then you get to catch them on a rod and reel. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, everybody. What a fish. Awesome. If you want to cover more water and put more fish on the ice, then visit finickyfooler.com.